What a blessing it is today to be able to talk about the Word of the Lord, to share the love and the goodness and the protection and the comfort that the Lord has for His people and has for the unsaved world if they'll turn their hearts and lives to Him and live for Him. Well, I'm Bill Cochran with the Upward Way Ministry Program. You're very welcome to join with me for the next 27 or so minutes, and I'll try to make it worth your time, share you some good things with you from the Word of the Lord that can be a blessing to your life, that can be a, an improvement in your life, can be an uplift to your life. I would think regardless of how long we live in this world and no matter to what kind of a spiritual height that we go to, there's always room to grow more. Sometimes I mention to people that if they'd happen to say, how you doing? And I say, well, it's, it's sort of like I'm living in this great big room. And it's called room for improvement. And certainly it is. No matter where I'm at, what it is, there's room for improvement. Well, that's what the Word of God will do. The Word of God will build us up, will save our souls, will bless our lives, and will direct our paths, order our steps. We need to attend to God's Word. We need to, we need to listen to God's Word. We need to read His Word. We need to be a doer of His Word. We need to believe His Word. And I'm telling you, folks, if you want to get anywhere in the, in the, in the Christian life or in the spiritual world with God, you've got to have faith in God. Uh, we must believe that God is and that He is a rewarder. He is the rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Well, what a joy it is today to talk about the Word of the Lord. A few thoughts here from the 61st chapter of the book of Psalms, then we'll get on with some good things, more of the good things here. The writer wrote, and if you'd happen to feel this way today, if you'd happen to be in this kind of a mindset today, or maybe a physical situation, or a mental situation, or a financial situation, that seems to have you overwhelmed and has you down. Well, let me tell you something. There's good news and you can get up from there, okay? So many times, I, about every day probably, I'm in, I pray as I pray and say, Lord, help me to quickly get up on the inside and quickly get up on the outside and become the man that you'd have me to be. And Lord, help me to be all that I can be for your glory, for my benefit, for the help of other people. Oh, it's just I, I, every day I say that basically. Well, I need to do that. I need to build myself up. Listen, you're in the 20, 61st book of Psalm. Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings. Selah. Okay, well, 61 down through verse 4. And today, like I say, if you'd happen to feel this way today, that you feel overwhelmed by the cares and the troubles and the anxieties of life, let me, let me encourage you that you get your heart and your mind set upon the Lord and see what He can do for you. Go to His Word and let the Lord build you up. Oh, how many times do I got to do this? And Just a little while back, I don't know, it may have been a couple, three months ago, and I was feeling quite down. Uh, and I and I went to I went to the Bible and got the Amplified Bible and got to read some of those good scriptures. And man, I'm telling you, just things change right real fast. Well, it can change in your life also if we will take heed to it. Well, I'm telling you that the Lord will lift you up. He'll bring you up out of the miry clay. He'll bring you up out of depression. He'll bring you out of oppression. If you're financially burdened, if you're physically burdened. Jesus is our Lord, our Savior, our healer, our provider, our lifter up. He will bless our lives if we will yield our lives to Him. So today, regardless of what your circumstances might be, don't get discouraged about that because the Lord can lift you up. He can help you. And, and a good way for that to happen is what you're doing right now as you're listening to this Word. You're hearing these words, and these words has the ability to lift you up. Now in the book of Acts chapter 20, and verse 32, and now, see that's right now, and now, brethren, I commit you to God. I deposit you in His charge, entrusting you to His protection and care. And I commend you to the word of His grace, to the commands and counsels and promises of His unmerited favor. It is able to build you up and to give you your rightful inheritance among all God's set-apart ones, those consecrated, purified, and transformed of soul. Oh, isn't that good news? Isn't that good news that the Word of God can build us up and give us inheritance and help us to rise above 
the oppression, depression, and the cares and the middle grief of this world. Well, that's what the Lord will do for us if we will let him do it. Now, this, this lady sings a song about something about uh, uh, over my head in deep water. Well, that can be on the negative side almost, and it can be on the positive side too. We, can, what we need to really immerse ourselves into the Word of God. We need to really uh, commit our lives to God's Word, to His way of life. Because when the cares of life feels like they got you almost overwhelmed and the water's almost over your head, call upon the Lord and let Him help you. Listen, caref listen closely to the words of this song. <laughs> of uh, what circumstances looks like to you, God sees it another way. He says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So let's look at things the way God looks at things and let's get rid of the oppression, depression, or the burdensome cares of life, whatever it might be. If you're feeling bad physically, ask the Lord to heal you. That's his, he wants to heal you. He wants to bless your life. If you're worried about something, he wants to give you peace of mind. Whatever your situation might be, and God wants to supply your needs, he wants to bless your life. I'm just not saying this to be saying something. Man, I'm telling you, this is real material. I was thinking just a little while ago, you know, this is Friday evening when I'm doing this program right now. It'll be another time when you hear it, but this is Friday evening for me. And folks, they probably started playing the weekend music a good while ago. You know that? I mean, it's Friday, and they probably started playing the weekend music a good while back earlier today. And I haven't picked up a guitar one today yet, and I haven't done, I haven't played the keyboard at all today. But I'm talking about God's Word, and that's what I want to do. Blessed is the man that delights himself in the law of the Lord. So that's my life, people, is to share God's Word, to help people, to be a blessing and help the people. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. And it will be if you will receive it. The words I'm talking to you are words of life, they're spirit, they're life. 
They are health, healing, and medicine to all of our flesh. Well, now, how would be a good way to get started to get up out of a, a oppression where we're not, we sort of feel like we're down, rejected, and, and dejected, or whatever might be there? Well, here's a good way to do it. In the book of Joshua, chapter 1, and verse 7, 8, and 9, look what the writer wrote. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. <clears throat> For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have, thou shalt have good success. Let me do that first later three few lines again. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Now listen to what he said in what's written in verse 9. Have not I commanded thee? Question mark. Be strong and of a good courage. <clears throat> be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Oh, what good, rich material that is. And folks, that is the key, is to be strong, to be courageous, that we can observe God's Word, that we can attend to His Word and not turn to the right hand or the left, that we may prosper, that we may prosper wherever we go. Now here's the thing. This is, this is something that you and I must do and also down to have good success and be prosperous. We're the one who makes it that way. Folks, our thoughts are a lot like the butts and an elevator. Our thoughts can either bring us up, take us up, or take us down. I mean, either the button, you punch a button for up or you punch a button for down. Well, if you have good, positive, optimistic, righteous thoughts, you can be lifted up. But if you have negative, depressive, gloom and doom thoughts, you're going to go down. I'll about guarantee you that. Because, see, that's thoughts of death. That's thoughts of weakness and failure. Well, we don't need to think about that kind of stuff. We talk about life. We talk about good things. We meditate on the Word of God, which is health, healing, and medicine to all of our flesh, and it will lift us up and give us an inheritance among God's set-apart, purified, transformed of soul ones. Okay, that's where we need to be, folks, and to be lifted up. So we're here in verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Now listen, who does this? For then... Thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Who does it? You do it, or I do it, or the minister does it, or somebody else does it? No, he said, then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Folks, your thoughts, if they're righteous thoughts, if they're godly thoughts, if they're words of life, they can make you prosperous. And then thou shalt have good success. One more time. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Folks, I'm telling you, that's the key. That's what we need to do. We need to be built up. We need to be lifted up. And the Lord wants to do that for us today. He wants to lift us up today. He wants to bless our lives. Now listen here, in case you're weak and feeble like and not able to seemingly get up on your own, listen to this. Psalms 113, verse 7 and 8. Well, let me go up to this a little bit. Let me go back up to verse 5. Of Psalms 113, Starting at verse 5. Who is like unto the Lord our God, who dwelleth on high? Who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth? <clears throat> he raiseth up the poor out of the dust, and lifteth the needy out of the dunghill. So today, if you're overwhelmed with whatever situation you might be overwhelmed with, the Lord wants to raise you up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust, and lifteth the needy out of the dunghill. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Lord, that you do. And he'll do that for you. If you will believe him, if you'll trust him, if you'll call upon him, he will lift you up if you happen to be in a situation like that. Or maybe you're just sailing along real good. And I mean, maybe you're happy in the Lord. You're rejoicing and just everything seems to be all right. And you just say, Lord, I want to be higher and higher and higher and higher. Let the Lord lift you up. There's no ceiling to that, folks. There's no ceiling as to what the Lord can lift you up to in this world if you'll go to His Word and abide in it. I'm going to say that one more time because that is a powerful statement. There is no ceiling 
to how, where you can go in life, what you can do, what you can become in life, if you will go to this Word and get it in your heart and be a doer of this Word, and the Word will build you up. So just go as high as you want to, okay? One more time, 113, verse 7 and 8. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifteth the needy out of the dunghill, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. <laughs> Oh, what God wants to lift us out of and where he wants us to go, that he may set us with princes, even with the princes of his people. Now, folks, that's good company. When you get to set with the princes of God's people, you're in good territory. You're in good country. Oh, praise God for that. Yes. And uh, so good, too. In Psalm 100, 145, if you've never heard this, this is such good news. Psalm 145. Think about the good things that the Lord has for us and what He wants to do in our lives. 145, starting at verse 13. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall, and raises up all those that be bowed down. Let me read that to you again. The Lord uphold us all that fall and raise us up all that be bowed down. Well, God wants to do that. He wants to help us. Now listen on down to you. The eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. Now listen here closely. If you're not a Christian today, listen close to this because you can get in on what I'm talking about today. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon Him, to all that call upon Him in truth. He will, des he will fulfill the desire of them that fear Him. <clears throat> he also will hear their cry and will save them. Isn't that good news? The Lord is nigh unto all that them that call upon Him, to all that call upon Him in truth. Folks, the Lord will help you today if you call upon the Lord, if you call upon Him in truth. He will help you. <clears throat> now, you want to have an idea of, of, of some of God's attitude to you and for His thoughts of you? Listen to this. Psalms 139, starting at verse 17. And boy, you ought, you ought to read up above there. You ought to read on above there and down below there and see what's being said here. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God, and how great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. Think about that. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God, how great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. God's thoughts to us is more than the number of the sand. Folks, I'm telling you, he wants to bless our lives he wants to help us. He wants to bless our lives. I think probably I should read you chapter, a few verses out of chapter 40 of the book of Psalms. Let's, let's, if you're not jotting these scriptures down, you, you should do that starting right now, even if you've missed a few of them, and get these in your heart and memorize them and get them in your life and keep them there and look at them over and over and over again until they really become a part of you. Psalms, the chapter, Psalms, chapter 40. Okay, I'm, I'm getting close here. Just bear with me a little bit. Psalms chapter 40. <clears throat> now here's the good news. If you are in the Mari clay, if you seem to be overwhelmed, listen to this. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the Mari clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, <clears throat> even praise unto our God. Many shall see it, and fear, and shall trust in him. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Now listen about the thoughts again. Many, O Lord my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to us word. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. <laughs> That's the thoughts of God to us people. So today, if you've been sitting around sort of feeling gloomy or uh, maybe having a little bit of a, 
a pity patty party of some kind, if you may excuse that expression. And that can easily happen, folks. If we don't watch out, things just don't seem to go our way. We may sit down and get just, just sort of go down, down, down. Well, let's don't do that. Because listen to this. If you start feeling down again, just think about it. Many, O oh Lord my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to usward. You, you say it to yourself or to me. And thy thoughts which are to usward, they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. And remember, it was a hundred and uh, thirty-nine, wasn't it? There to be more than the sand. God's thoughts, oh, how he loves us and the good thoughts he has for his people. Well, we, we, God is continually probably thinking about us. Listen to this. Psalms 115, starting at verse 11. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord hath been mindful of us. Notice that. The Lord hath been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. Now listen to this. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. You are blessed of the Lord, which made heaven and earth. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's, but the earth hath he given to the children of men. One more time. Let me recap this one more time. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. No matter how much you have been blessed, no matter what stash you are, the Lord wants to bless you more and more. You and your children. Folks, we need to live right. We need to live, we need to set a good example before our children, before our loved ones, and we, we can be blessed and we can help them to be blessed. So we need to do it. Have we not been doing that? We need to get on the, the train right real fast to do it, you might say. Well, there's many good things that God wants to do for us. He wants to give us good peace of mind. And in uh, Isaiah chapter 26, and verse 3 and 4 from the Amplified Bible, You will guard him and keep him in perfect and constant peace, whose mind, both his inclination and his character, stayed on you, because he commits himself to you, leans on you, and hopes in you confidently. Let me read that again. I got the latter part right. Let me do it again. I'm to, it sort of got in a hurry there. Excuse me for that. You will guard him. Chapter 26 of Isaiah, verse 3 and 4 from the Amplified Bible. You will guard him and keep him in perfect and constant peace. Whose mind, both its inclination and its character, is stayed on you. Because he commits himself to you, leans on you, and hopes confidently in you. Now listen to this. So trust in the Lord. Commit yourself to Him. Lean on Him. Hope confidently in Him forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock, the rock of ages. Oh, folks, I'm telling you, we don't need to be down in the dumps. We don't need to be down in the dust or the trice hills of life. Folks, we can live up on a good plane, be happy, be healthy, be blessed, and be well. And that's how God wants us to be. We are His children. He does not want us to be beat down to be destitute and in distress. He wants us to be blessed. So let's comply with the program. What do you say? If you've not been getting the Word of God in your heart, this is an excellent time to start doing that. And the Word of God will give you life. It will be healing, healing and health to your flesh. And it will be peace of mind to your heart. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Well, if we will do that, if we keep our mind stayed on the Lord, we can enjoy perfect peace. I like to think about having perfect heart, perfect health, perfect peace, perfect love. Just all the good things. Well, it's available, folks. In His Word and through His Word, being a doer of His Word, you can have that. And now then, when we arrive there, when we arrive there, let's be thankful for that, okay? Let's be thankful for all of the blessings and the benefits that the Lord daily loads us with. Daily he loads us with benefits, and we need to be thankful. We need to be appreciative of this. Listen to this, sir. Listen to this song. Lord, I want to thank you. Listen to what a great song this is. Just to say thank you. Well, I 
Thank you, Lord, for the Durham family from out of the Indiana, Indiana area that sang that song. A lot of the Durham family, they've been up to the maybe gospel sing many, many times. Great people, great songs. So much to be thankful for, for the good friends that we have, the good gospel music we can hear, the good word of God that we have access to. What a blessed people we are to have access to God's word and to be able to talk it as we can talk it and live it as we want to live it and let it build our lives up. Well, let's trust today that this is a blessing and a help to you. Let's trust that it will always be a blessing and a help to you to having God's Word in your heart and your life and letting the Word of God build us up and lift us up and help us to stay up. Well, 
I enjoy the Word of God. Let's trust that you will too. It's life to me. It's health, healing, and medicine to all my flesh. It's joy and peace to me. Let's trust it's that way for you. So if you're not a Christian today, before you retire, let me ask you, call upon the Lord to save you and to help you and let Him lift you up out of whatever situation you might be in. And if you will, join in next week about the same time for those who who are watching WTV and hear some more good things from the Word of the Lord. If you happen to have access to a computer, go to YouTube, if you will, please, to Bill Cochran, Upward Way Ministries, and hear some more good things from the Word of the Lord. Many blessings to you.